hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is katlin if you're new if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to another video so the last time i made a list of the best and worst things about being a postgraduate student and i said in that video that i'm going to be making another one about the worst and best things about doing environmental sciences this is that video so without wasting any time let's get into the video um i'm doing three three like the past one i'm starting with the worst again it's just how i write my lists i prefer good things last yeah so the first point falls both in the best thing and the worst thing and that is that the field is very broad and general in a way so because it's very broad it might be a bad thing because what if you don't know what you want to specialize in you know what i'm saying there are just too many choices put in front of you you don't know what you want so in that sense it's it's a little bit overwhelming like being overwhelmed with choice can be a good or a bad thing but it's a good thing because i mean you're overwhelmed with choice you can go whichever direction you want you can do whatever you want you can change at any point because there's just too many things that are related to each other so in that way yeah the second thing is you need to figure out where you're going because you are overwhelmed with choice because there are so many things to do you need to pick one or two or three mix them together but you need to have like a direction do you want to do academia do you want to work in industry which specific courses are you interested in where do you see your life going so you need to have a plan and if you are that person who maybe would have wanted to rely on a specific curriculum telling you where you need to go like engineering you know where you're going it's it's it's, it's a bad thing yeah it's a bad thing so uh, you need to make decisions and this is what i learned in first year when they were like oh when you go to second year you're gonna be given choices you need to choose so you need to choose <laughs> the third thing is that jobs are competitive they require certain skills and experience guys <laughs> jobs are competitive because i mean there's a lot of us doing environmental sciences and they require specialized study so in in a lot of the environmental sciences careers you need to have a minimum of a master's degree and not everybody wants to do a master's degree but you need to you need to do it because minimum requirements as a master's and on top of that they require extensive work experience and you're like i've been in school for the past six years where do you think i get five years worth of work <laughs> frustrating okay now let's move on to the best things i talked about the fact that it's broad and general so you can essentially choose whatever you want to do and move in any direction you want great it's great to have choice second one field trips <gasps> go outside see places explore see animals see trees see nature i love spending time in nature okay contrary to what you see on my channel me always being indoors i like going outside so you get the opportunity to travel either in undergrad if you have field trips for the courses that you're doing i remember in second year we went to the Bot botanical gardens i cannot speak and then we went to Tsuhain Crater as well. And in my masters, well, in my honors, I did field work for my project. In my masters now, I did field work for my project. I will link my playlist up here so you can see the field work that I did. So you get to black like, outside, climb mountains, and do all these fun things, take nice pictures and stuff. So yeah. The final thing is that it's a multidisciplinary field. So they're just so many things that are linked to each other there's so many things you can go into there's a little bit of physics a little bit of chemistry you do gis so you work with software and stuff you learn so many skills and you learn so much because there is so much so it's good to get all of that knowledge I'm sorry So it's good to have all of that knowledge and all of those skills 
because you're like well versed in a whole bunch of different fields which is I mean, it's a good thing so yeah that is all <laughs> for this video i hope you enjoyed it please give it a like comment down below what are the best and worst things about doing the specific degree that you're doing if you're doing environmental sciences please let me know what are the best and worst things for you and i'm very i'm very interested i'm very interested to know again oh my goodness i'm very interested to know i would love to chat you chat to you in the comments down below thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye